Hey, what's going on guys? I have super exciting news. The police just called me and they let me know that they recovered my bike. They found my bike. Um, I just got home. I picked up the trailer and I'm on my way there right now. They actually said they picked it up at the intersection of May and Atlantic. I know that makes no sense for anybody that doesn't live in Springfield, but that's sort of like the north side of the ghetto. My camera's probably gonna die, so I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna try to film me pulling up on the scene and getting my bike. All right, guys, I see the unmarked cars of the officers. They're up here. And it looks like I'll be pulling in right here. It's in the back of a truck, it appears to be. What's going on, guys? My name is Robert. So as some of you may know, January 7th, my bike got stolen. And this is the bike that I have. In many of my videos, it's just like a prop back there. Uh, it's 2015, I kept it in excellent condition. And it just so happened that I left it outside one night and it got stolen right under my nose. I was, it was the last thing I was expecting. I never thought that you know this would happen to me, which is a foolish thing for me to think. And another thing that I didn't have for the bike was full coverage. So in that video, I touched up a little bit on why this bike is actually an investment for me. I bought it for $2,400 cash in the auction and I'm planning on selling it for twice the amount. And at this point, I'm going to give you guys a little update video because as you guys saw in the intro of this video, I was on the way to pick it up. The cops gave me a phone call and they found the bike. And I was gonna record the whole entire encounter. I was gonna record me, you know, picking it up, seeing, you know what the cops had to say all that good stuff but my camera died when i got that phone call for some reason i thought i'd be picking up the bike in pristine condition i was going to ride it off the scene of the crime of course that was also a foolish thought for me to have because this bike is an absolutely terrible condition i'm going to go over some of the damages here and moving forward i think you know i'm going to probably go through with the repairs because i don't have another choice i canceled my insurance policy on it uh, it was liability insurance anyway so at this point, I'm gonna show you guys the damages and sort of what I'm gonna do moving forward. And I mean, this just shows how, you know, something bad can happen to you. You just gotta get, you know, you just gotta move past it. You know, the last thing I ever expected was to find the bike again, ever again. You know, in my mind, I thought it was a professional job and whoever stole it from me, they followed me home and they, you know, they cased me. That's literally what I thought had happened, and I thought my bike was, you know, being parted out somewhere in California or something. I never expected to see it again, but it just so happens that a couple of meth heads picked it up, and they walked it home to their trap house, which is ha happens to be like two minutes that way. Uh, this is all information I got from the detective, and they're, they've been on the case for some time now, and this is what they told me. So I'm going to go into the story of what exactly happened right after I show you guys the damages on this bike. All right, so as you guys remember, this was a white motorcycle and it seems like they've spray painted it with this ugly botched spray paint job. You can't really tell on the camera, but there are huge, huge scratches all over the body. They took the badges off and it looks like they scratched it all up the sides. My, the shift, the shifter over here is like all bent. As you guys can see, this is not supposed to be like that. Uh, again, super, super terrible spray paint job. And it looks like they probably wrecked it on all four sides, as you guys can see here. Uh, these are really high-end grips and aftermarket handlebars and levers. And as you guys can see, these levers are completely damaged. Uh, I don't know, guys, what they did. They, it looks like they wrecked it a few times. And moving forward, look at what they did to the ignition. This is probably like the most painful part for me. They completely tore out the ignition so it does not start. They had a screwdriver in there when I actually picked the bike up. And you guys can't tell from this camera angle, but the handlebars are all bent and my carbon fiber seems to be scratched up here. This is nothing nothing too big, but and just a bunch of cosmetic damage they've done to it. And as you guys can see on this side as well, they they uh, you know they somehow managed to get these levers all all eaten up here. And my mirror, I had a mirror here, a bar and a mirror, and it's gone. I'll probably have to replace the entire uh, handlebar system. I hope my forks aren't bent. At this point, there's no telling. As you guys can see here, it is all cracked and bent. Now, this is the side that really hurts me here. I don't know what they managed to do with this bike, but all chipped and scratched. And of course, I'll probably just have to go ahead and buy new plastics. 
But guys, this is a, uh, you know, I wasn't expecting to see it in this condition, honestly. And as you guys can see here, this is the worst part about it. My carbon fiber, my poor carbon fiber is all, all damaged here. And I don't know, guys. I mean, right now, I'm honestly so thankful that I have the bike back. And I've learned my lesson as far as keeping this thing, you know, safe, keeping it locked up having a GPS tracker for it. This is a 700cc Yamaha FC07, and they completely tore it up. I don't know what's going on up here. It looks like it's missing some, some bolts down here. That's how it's supposed to look. So guys, they completely trashed this bike. They ripped off my license plate, and it's all gone. I don't even know what they did with it. But yeah, guys, this is the condition of the bike at this point. So I'm going to tell you guys an interesting little story about it. And I was just chatting with the sheriffs yesterday. And they told me, it's pretty crazy, honestly. I'm thankful that it played out the way it did and that I have the bike back. But honestly, guys, it won't be too big of a deal to do these repairs. And I don't know, the red looks kind of cool. Honestly, I don't know. It matches my Jeep back there, as you guys can see. Red's not that bad. My bike is definitely no longer in pristine condition as it once was. Here's the interesting story about what had happened. So I get the phone call and it was two undercover cops. And as you guys saw from the introduction, there were two unmarked cars on the scene and there was a red pickup truck that was pulled over. And I just chatted with these officers a little bit, trying to get an understanding of you know what exactly had happened and if they knew who stole it. And this is what they told me. The bike was stolen from my backyard and was sold to this, this individual who is now locked up for homicide. And I'm not making that up. They said that the guy who had bought the bike probably in trade for drugs, was arrested for homicide and is now in prison. So within a month, this murderous dude bought my bike, probably with drugs, and his girlfriend actually had the bike in the back of her pickup truck. And that red pickup truck you guys saw was this homicide criminal's girlfriend. I'm just so glad that I was a bunch of druggies and meth heads that actually stole it instead of professional bike thieves, because that would have been a completely different story and the bike would have never been seen or heard of again. The cops are telling me that they still don't know who stole the bike and they think you know it could have been anybody that has connections with this trap house down the street but that guy had ties to that house and then they're on this guy for a while it just so happened that they pulled over that red truck and my bike was in the back looking like this. I mean it doesn't look too bad from far away but obviously as you guys saw the details up close I'm glad that I didn't go out that night maybe this murderous guy actually stole my bike they said that he won't talk and he's in prison but they said that if he did steal it like you know he's not talking and you know he won't say who he bought it from because that guy is still out there uh, whatever whatever that guy has coming for him it'll come and it'll pay tenfold I think you know I'm not worried about his punishment it'll be there you know at this point I'm just gonna you know count my blessings and from here on out I'm not going to take anything for granted I kind of went through a bad place that I never really experienced before I don't know how to explain it to you guys but ultimately the bike is back now I'm going to maybe make an update video on the you know repairs that I have to do for the bike and what it costs but yeah this bike is definitely an investment for me I bought it 2400 cash out of the auction like I mentioned in my other video and I plan on selling it. it has a clean title so at this point, you know, I'm not going to make as much profit as I thought I would, but I'm not going to be at a total loss. And that is the best part about this. I'm super stoked, guys. Thank you so much for, you know, watching this all the way through. If you did, you guys are the real OGs. I never expected to see this bike again and things, you know, turn around for me. So I'm super, super grateful. And I might, I might even paint it red, you know, when I do all the repairs for it. Um, ultimately, guys, I can't start it. So I don't know if the motor is shot. I don't know if, you know, if they've, you know, toasted the motor or anything like that. So. At this point, you know, I'm just glad I have it because whatever I have here is worth more than nothing. Oh, I forgot to mention it's 30 degrees out here and my hands are literally numb. But that's besides the point, guys. If you enjoyed this video and if you stuck around, thank you so much. I know this is nothing related to Airbnb. This is nothing related to Stash or investing in the stock market. This is totally just something personal that I decided to share with you guys. Uh, simply because I didn't want to miss a video so the algorithm would just like recognize that I was like being lazy or something. But thank you guys so much once again. And if you watch all the way through, be sure to leave a like on this video and share this, you know, in the biker community if you if you know anybody in that community. Because this is quite the story. You know, my bike was recovered after it was stolen. That's like a super rare thing. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys all for a very productive video on Friday.